Hi, I am Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation and we like to do videos that help you with your marriage based on your search. And in this one you search for how do I show more love and affection to my husband? And it is a great question. And I'm going to get into this in a way that you've probably never really considered before. So let's begin at the beginning. You got married literally so that you would be happier every single day of your life. Now maybe this was not actually a thought that you had, but it is a subconscious expectation. Why else would you marry your soulmate? The other thing that you had an expectation for is what we're talking about today, which is love. Not just love, unconditional love. That is what we want. We're human beings and we have this need. You know, our bodies, we have a body and our bodies need oxygen, water, food, shelter, and so forth. Our minds, there's a psychology. Our minds need calmness, a healthy environment, and our soul. We are a soul and our souls need love. For the soul, nothing else will do. But we're not taught this growing up. So when we get married, it's more of like, okay, you know, this person seems great. We date for a while. We get to know each other. We take the next step. We start courting. We take the next step. We're engaged. We take the next step. These days we're probably living together. And then we take the next step and we finally get married. Now at the Marriage Foundation, we consider the step when you move in together as marriage because for all intents and purposes, you're going to experience the things that you would experience if you were married, except for one thing. You don't have a clear vision of what you're striving for, that happiness and that love. And now, in your case, whether you moved in together before or after you're married, you're, you're feeling like there's something missing. And that's what is missing, is you cannot get there from here if you don't know where there is, if you don't know where you're going. Furthermore, if you don't know how to use the vehicle that you're in, which is marriage, to get there. So where you want to go is that feeling of unconditional love and you float in that when you have that. When people read my books or take the course, whether it's the course for men or the course for women, they finally learn how to achieve these promises. I call them the promises of marriage. And I can tell you right now that the Western psychological world, which is basically the quote unquote, the guru of marriage is totally failing. They don't understand marriage at all, or you wouldn't have an over 50% divorce rate. And trust me, I used to be a divorce mediator. Now we're talking about more than 20 years ago, but all of my clients came from marriage counseling that failed. And then I wanted to start helping people with their marriage. So I had to rediscover marriage. I couldn't use the Western psych ideas about marriage. And here you are, you're at the beginning of, of a crossroad, of a fork in the road, where you're saying, no, I want that love. I want to show my husband love and affection. How do I do it? So here is how you do it. We operate, you might say, all of our behaviors, that's what I mean by operate, stem from thoughts. Now our thoughts are not our philosophies. It's just not how it works. Our thoughts are the habitual reactions that we have to what's going on around us because no one ever taught us to master our mind. I mean, here I'm telling you this, has that ever shown up on your radar? Master your mind, which means master your emotions which means master your inner reactions, which means to be able to open up your heart by getting 
all of those crazy thoughts and emotions and fears and anger out of the way. No one's ever taught you this. And that's what's missing in the current thinking about marriage. But you can have it. But you can't have it by me or anyone else telling you, try this, try that, try this. Because that's all on the surface. You have to go down to your habits, your habitual thoughts, your habitual feelings. You have to start scrutinizing how your mind reacts. You're a soul, but how does your mind react to various stimulation, to various catalysts? Think about it this way. When you see something, it's data coming into your mind. Think of your mind as a computer. It's information, data coming into your mind, and it comes in in raw form. But right away, your mind is starting to perceive it based on certain memories that you have, certain information about what happened in the past when something like that happened. And so you have an auto reaction instead of a thought through reaction. That's what happens to us. So what you need to learn to do in order for you to learn how to show your husband love and affection is you have to realize that that comes from the heart when it's legitimate, which means you have to uncover the heart by mastering the mind. Now, I know this is not what you wanted when you searched. You wanted tips. And I suppose I could play that game and offer tips, but it won't last. It won't give you what it is that you really want and really need, which is to have the connection with your husband that is pure love. You see, as a human being, we have a choice. We live in three worlds at the same time. We, if we just listen to our body, then we listen and we act in a primal way. Those people who just do exclusive primal are usually in prisons. They're the psychopaths, the sociopaths. It's all about defenses and aggression because it's all about survival, because the body all by itself, like any living thing, is all about survival. Then you go a step up. That step up is the mundane world that is influenced by morality, experience, and this is where most people live. They live in the mundane world. They occasionally dip down into the primal if they're afraid of something, they're being attacked, or they're afraid that all hell is going to break loose. They may dip down, but those behaviors, the primal behaviors are still mitigated. Then the highest part of us is the soul. The soul, think of it as pure love, pure consciousness of love. It's a, it's a part of God. You as a soul are part of God. You know, in every scripture, he's created us in his image that's what they're talking about. They're not talking about arms and legs. They're talking about consciousness. Jeez, you know, we couldn't have this conversation 150 years ago. No one knew what consciousness was. Things are moving forward in the world. You're the beneficiary right now of this because this is higher thinking. It's more lofty because you want, when you get married, you want that love. That's what you want. And it's a challenge to live in that love and deal in the mundane world at the same time. But it can be done. I've written books. We have a course just for women, for those who get this and really want to make it happen because it's a process to learn how. It's not just like, oh, just do this. It isn't like that. Now, we've done this with thousands of people over the 20 plus years, 
So for us, it's not new, but for most people, it is. What it is for sure also is it's cutting edge. You know, you've heard of next gen when it comes to technology, but then there's ultimate. This is ultimate stuff because it deals with the laws. It's just like physics, you know, there's ultimate things in physics like gravity. You, you can't argue with gravity. You can learn how to defy it. With this, you want to learn how to love your husband unconditionally so that you can give him that love and affection that he as a soul is desiring like crazy. And then as you learn to give it, that act of giving it is what brings you so much joy. You'll be floating on cloud nine and that's a guarantee. So I know that I didn't give you tips. This is not the marriage foundation is not like other organizations. We don't play games and look, they're sincere when they tell you things like prepare a nice dinner or dress, you know, in scanty clothes, go back to how you uh, nurtured your relationship when you were dating. All of those things are fine but it will not bring you what you want. And we want you to have what you want. Ever increasing happiness every single day and ever expanding love every single day. Those are the promises of marriage and that's what we want you to have. So you got to start seeing marriage a little differently than you've seen it before. So you can have those things. I'm Paul Friedman. Subscribe to this channel and like the video, leave a comment, and thank you for spending time with me. I hope we can spend time together in the future. Take care and God bless.